This is the story about the beginning. The beginning of all things. In the beginning was God. Nothing else. Just God. God began to feel creative. And God wanted to create something. He wasn't quite sure what. So, he went to his shed. Oh, well, he might have. God decided that to be creative, he first needed light. So he summoned all of his energy and he created a big, bright, brilliant sphere of light. It was, well, brilliant, absolutely brilliant in every way. Uh, a bit too brilliant, really. God paused. God thought, I can't look at that brilliant light all of the time. I'll just time. That's a great idea. I'll come back to that in a minute. First, I need to... Minutes. Yes, that's what I'll do. I'll create time. And I'll divide time into minutes. Oh, now where was I? Right, for now, I'll just have light time and dark time. But actually, I really need to decide what to call these two lights so I don't get confused between them. In fact, the more I create, the more I realise that everything I create will need to be called something, or it will be terribly confusing. I'll definitely need to think about that. Right. Now, back to the lights. So, I'll just summon up all of my energy, again, well, perhaps not quite so much energy this time, and I'll create a lesser light. That will be much better than being totally dark all the time. But it mustn't be as brilliant as full light. So God created another light. It was still big and bright and brilliant, but not as big or as bright or quite as brilliant as the first one. God enjoyed creating the two lights, but it was quite tiring, so he took a nap. When God woke up, he thought about the lights he had created and decided they should really have a proper place. Where best to put them? After all, you need to be able to see a light for it to be most useful. I know, thought God. I'll make sure the lights are really high up so that they can be seen, but also so that their lights can be effective over a wide area. Yes, that's good. Now, where can I put them that's high up? But because everywhere was the same, God had to create somewhere, a structure to put the lights in, a place where they could always be. So he created the sky. It was a great place for the lights because they could each have a proper place to be. God enjoyed creating the sky, but it was quite tiring. So he took a nap. When God woke up, he thought about creating more stuff. Having sky was great, but not quite enough. In fact, it showed up how much of everything else there was. And all of that was the same. So he gathered all the water together and created seas and oceans and lakes. And in one very special place, he created locks 
and in another fjords and rivers and streams and also in some places where there wasn't water he created dry land some of it very dry land that would never get water but of course the land was a bit bare just earth and dust so he created plants and trees and all sorts of herbs and flowers and God thought well these are good pretty and nice to look at but perhaps some of the plants can produce fruit and seeds that can be eaten by uh, creatures but that's a plan for later God enjoyed creating the seas and the land and plants but it was quite tiring so he took a nap when God woke up he remembered his idea about time and went about arranging the two lights in the sky God was really quite pleased with the lights and had so much fun creating them he decided to create some more smaller lights that could just twinkle a bit when otherwise it would be really dark so he created time and seasons and daytime and nighttime with lights that were suitable for each there was the most brilliant light for daytime for getting work done and a lesser light for night time for resting and sleeping and twinkling lights that created patterns in the sky at night that showed the passing of the seasons the times for planting and harvesting of the plants that he had made God enjoyed creating he enjoyed creating the day and night and time and seasons but it was quite tiring so he took a nap when God woke up he remembered his idea about creatures to inhabit his creation so he became very creative he created creatures to live in the water in the seas and rivers and lakes they had fins and gills and could swim then he created creatures with legs four legs at least so they could stand solidly and they could all walk and run across the land some had long necks and some had humps and some had trunks and some had fur and some were huge and some were tiny and some had extra legs and well it got really very creative for there were so many different types and sizes of creatures and then God realized he could also create birds they had feathers they could fly they only needed two legs because most of the time they would be flying in the sky that God had created and God made sure they could talk to each other so he gave them the ability to sing beautifully to each other and the other creatures all had languages so that they could speak to their own type God enjoyed creating all of the very different animals and birds and fish and well all types of creature but God realized he couldn't keep on creating them forever so he said to all the creatures multiply yourselves increase in number and enjoy my creation God enjoyed creating all of the very different animals but it was quite tiring so he took a nap when God woke up he decided to have one more go at creating 
he had enjoyed creating very much and wanted to make something really special. So he decided to create people. And importantly, he decided to create people that would share some of God's qualities. That would be like God in some ways. So God created people. He created man and woman, both very similar, but a bit different, both equally like God in many ways. God enjoyed creating people and decided to give the rest of his creation to the people to look after. The people could use the plants for food and the animals too, if they wanted to. But the people would need to look after the creation, which was totally lovely, just as God had created it. God was extremely pleased with all that he had created, but it was very tiring, so he took a nap. When God woke up, he realised just how tiring all this work of creating was. And he realised just how good his creation was. So instead of doing some more creating, he decided to have a rest day, to spend time just appreciating all he had created. And thinking about how good it was. And contemplating what to do next. <laughs>